Hi everyone, welcome to our Corientation video. It's a bit of a play on words for quarantine and orientation in the times of COVID-19. While we're really sad we didn't get to meet you in person and show you some of the sights and sounds that make Calgary a great place to train, we thought we would try to give you a sense of uh, what it might be like to work here by putting this video together. For those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Dr. Jonathan Godet. I'm the Critical Care Medicine uh, Training Program Director at the University of Calgary, and I'm thrilled to welcome you uh, to this video montage to help you see some of the faces and spaces that make Calgary a great place to train. Uh, so let's go check them out. I work at the Peter Lahid ICU. I'm a unit clerk. My name is Juan Posadas. I'm one of the intensivists working here in Calgary. Hi, my name is Marie. I work at the Peter Lahid ICU. I'm a registered nurse. I'm, I'm Philip Cuyao. I'm one of the um, intensivists um, here in Calgary. Hi, my name is Myra Aquino. I am a registered nurse. So, my name is Julie Crum, and I am one of the neurointensivists here in the Department of Critical Care at the University of Calgary. Hi, I'm Jessica Wang. I'm an intensivist here. I work at the Rocky U as well as the CVICU, and I'm the medical director for the Rocky U ICU. My name is Kirsten Feist, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Critical Care Medicine at the University of Calgary, and I'm also the director of research and innovation for our department. Good morning, my name is Maureen. I'm one of the physiotherapists at the PLC ICU. Uh, my name is Joel Constantino. I'm a registered nurse here at the PLC ICU. Hi, my name is Tiffany. Um, I'm a respiratory therapist at the Lougheed. Hi, I'm Selena Ao. I work as an intensivist at South Health Campus, Rocky View, and Peter Lougheed. The fast pace, and you just never know what you're going to be faced with next. Very well supported here, and I love working here. A lot of dedicated physicians, nurses, and uh, respiratory therapists working with us. It's a great place to train. It's a busy place to train. Um, I'm passionate about ICU. Um, I feel like there's a smart person just a phone call away and that they're friendly and approachable. So it, it always feels like um, there's someone to talk to. And, and we come over with our fellows and we speci especially treat them well. Great collegiality. Uh, we support each other uh, and I, I really comfortable working in an environment like this camaraderie between uh, the staff members here. We're a tight-knit group. Here, uh, awesome teamwork, really good people to work with. 
able to work with and learn from some fantastic scientists, clinicians, educators in all fields of medicine, and I truly think that that will make your experience special. In terms of the Department of Camaraderie amongst the interdisciplinary team, I feel very well supported here. Our, the people, uh, we've got wonderful people to work with at any unit in the city. Um, as a fellow, I think one of, we have a great curriculum. There's a lot of opportunity for independence. I think you really grow when you come out of the program of a really highly skilled uh, individual. Everyone, the administrative staff, the housekeeping staff, the nurses, the physicians, everyone on the team are just so invested in the benefit of the patients and having the unit run smoothly and the benefit of the department and the growth of the department as a whole, but also in supporting each other and helping others grow individually within the department as well. Welcome to the Department of Critical Care Medicine at the University of Calgary and Alberta Health Services. I'm delighted that you're considering our critical care medicine training program. My name is Tom Stelfox and I'm head of the department. We are proud to be one of the oldest departments of critical care medicine in North America. We provide care to large numbers of critically ill patients of high acuity who come to us from the city of Calgary, southern Alberta, southeastern British Columbia, and southwestern Saskatchewan. These patients are cared for in 80 ICU beds spread across five ICUs, four general systems ICUs located in one of each of our hospitals in the city, and one CV ICU. Our vision is exceptional patient and family-centered care. Our mission is to lead critical care. At the bedside, we do it clinically. We do it through education by training the next generation of intensivists like yourselves. And we do it by creating knowledge for the future through research. Our values and guiding principles are collaboration, accountability, respect, excellence, and safety. I share this with you because this is what we believe, this is who we are. If you're looking to join a diverse, collaborative team that's pushing the boundaries of critical care medicine while living in a world-class city located at the, uh, the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, then this is the place for you. I wish you all the best with your interviews here in Calgary and the other centers you're exploring. I encourage you to enjoy the experiences, to listen carefully, ask good questions, and find the center that's best aligned with your training interests. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I can be reached most easily through email at tstelfox at ucalgary.ca. Welcome to the Canadian Critical Care community. I look forward to us being colleagues. Bye for now. I'm going to speak to you about a few of the research projects that we have going on in our department that might pique your interest. We have a number of therapeutic and observational studies looking at the effects of COVID-19. We have studies looking at the de-adoption of low-value practices in critical care medicine. We have a research program studying transitions in care in ICU and how we can partner with patients and families to improve transitions both within and out of the ICU. We have studies looking at delirium, hypoxemic respiratory failure, and neurological conditions such as subarachnoid hemorrhage and traumatic brain injury. There are so many experts in critical care that practice at the U of C, and I know that if you have an interest in research, or perhaps not, uh, either way, we can guide you through uh, your training and ensure that you get a robust and well-rounded experience. I'm particularly excited about the opportunities for women uh, and female trainees that might be interested in studying in Calgary. We have a fantastic group of female clinicians and scientists here to mentor you, to support you, and to ensure that you have an exceptional training experience. Calgary is a great place to live and work, and I hope that you select us to pursue your critical care training. Hello everyone, I am Maria Thelma Bertolome, the Program Coordinator of the Department of Critical Care Medicine for 12 years now. I have been blessed to be part of this department. The fellows and the staff form an integral part of my well-being as they have been very supportive in my day-to-day -day work. 
I have felt like I have found my second family in our department as my family migrated here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada from Manila, Philippines last 2005. Being an immigrant without any relatives here in Calgary is very challenging but rewarding. As the program coordinator, learning is a continuous process and my training here as well as back home prepared me for the task at hand. A robust didactic and clinical teaching opportunities await you if you choose our program. Good luck and soar high! Deciding where to undertake fellowship training in critical care is not an easy choice. I appreciate that very much. Fortunately, Canada is blessed with an abundance of excellent places to train. So you're probably wondering what uh, makes Calgary different or what uh, we're particularly proud of about our training program. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, we can convince you to really uh, consider coming to, uh, to be one of our next fellows. Personally, uh, I think our training program is outstanding for a number of reasons. I'm particularly proud of our faculty. I think they're second to none. They're a great bunch of people to work with. They're diverse, they're from various training backgrounds, and they have a wealth of knowledge and experience to teach you the craft of critical care medicine. I also think that our academic day is second to none across the country. We have a protected full time, or full day I should say, each week uh, to learn the art and craft of critical care medicine. I think that's particularly important to have protected time to really uh, immerse yourself in your craft and we provide that in spades here in Calgary. And finally, uh, uh, the last things that I'm really, really proud of is flexibility. Uh, the current um, Rural College training standards allow us the flexibility to help to work with you to develop a niche area of interest during your training time with us and we're fully committed to doing that. Uh, we will individualize your training program to help you become whatever it is that you want to be within critical care medicine. From my perspective, the sky's the limit. We want you guys to be happy, healthy, fulfilled, uh, and excellent at what you do, and uh, that is my commitment to you if you come and train with us here uh, at the University of Calgary. Um, to all of you, thank you for considering our program. <clears throat> Thanks for ch taking the time to check us out. Uh, and I uh, wish you all the best uh, on your CARMS interviews. And uh, uh, know that the future of critical care medicine is bright in Canada. Thanks, guys.